2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Rocket Mortgage Classic is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Rich Beams, my sparring partner in the booth. I'm Luke Elby. Hope you're enjoying all the action. I know this player certainly has been rich because they've built this wonderful lead. Are you expecting them just to take the bit between the teeth and keep running with it? Well, that's what you expect them to do. But listen, we're playing golf, and golf is uh, about as predictable as the weather. I mean, unless you got a 50-50 chance of getting it right most days. So this player's got to keep their nose out in front and keep doing what they're doing because if they even remotely slow down and think about what they've accomplished, it's all over. Can't wait to see how today's play plays out. Time to get to the action. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Second shot here on the first. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. A chance for a booty if this goes down. Well, Rich, that's ideal. A birdie to start the day. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first. Great job. And now that finds him in first place. Time to tee off at the second. Well, this should find the short grass. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Going with the 9-iron, I think. This one heading towards the green. What a skillful approach shot. This player not holding back in their rivalry with Lydia Ko. John, give us a small update. Hey, guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the sixth. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes for the hole the whole way. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Time to face a par four. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Second shot here on the third. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Seems to be some sort of a mission he's on today. That is definitely a confidence builder. He sits in first position. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. 
This is a big par five, isn't it? Tee shot, if you have any hope of reaching this green and two, must find the fairway, avoiding the fairway bunkers down the left-hand side. From there, you'd have to hit a really strong three wood, moving it from right to left to try and chase it up onto this green. Laying it up short and right of that fairway bunker might be the play for most players, setting up a pretty easy pitch shot for their third. Pretty good shot there. And here we are with the third shot. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey guys, we're down here checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the eighth. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Going with the eight iron here. Not the result they were after there. Not taking enough club to get it there. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Great touch. John, you're down there. What's happening? Hey guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the ninth. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Here we are at the sixth hole. Only the longest players will be able to reach that fairway bunker down the left-hand side that sits about 300 yards off the tee. Most players want to hug the left-hand side as best they can as it opens up the green for the second shot. This is a wonderful par four. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Ah, that's frustrating. Putting for a par now. Well, it was a wonderful approach shot, wasn't it? But unfortunately, having to settle for par. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. We've arrived at a par five. This shot here from about 240 yards. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. 
as they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Hello up there. We are checking in down here with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 11th. Wow, from a dodgy lie ridge. How special was that? And a chip in, Luke, just what the doctor ordered. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that eagle back at the last hole. Second shot here on the eighth. Ah, great shot. This one's for Birdie. And racking up their fifth Birdie of the day. Still in the lead now after that hole. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. A strong hole indeed. Not much to this green. Slightly downhill. Green is fairly flat until you get to the back left portion of it. There it starts running away from you awfully quickly. Anywhere in the right center of the green is a gorgeous tee shot. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. Great touch. Really nicely played. Love watching this player around the greens. Time to find out what's happening at the 13th hole. This one's around 105 yards to the pin. Well, that's beautifully judged. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. As we make the turn, it's always good to reflect on what we've seen out there so far, Rich. Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. That was a top effort, that one. So close to going down. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. And just about eight feet left to the hole. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. John, do you have any info down there? Hello up there. We are checking in down here with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 14th. This is their fifth shot. Wow, what a save. Out of the rough, into the hole. Thank you very much. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Teeing off here at the 11th. The 
looks like they've got the five wood. Yeah, that was a safe play. Well, this would be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. Ooh. A par putt on the table. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. <laughs> Quality shot, that one. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 155. Oh, well played. And Henny, what are they looking at here? This one will run uphill. Well played. It's time now to take a look at Lydia Ko. Oh, I thought that one was going in. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. This hole is a par four. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on the 13th. Chosen the pitching wedge here. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on hole number 17. Oh, that is simply brilliant. What a shot. Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. Coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. <laughs> that was pummeled. Great drive. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Yeah, this is the stuff we love, getting after this par five in two. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. And this punt is about 17 feet long.
just didn't drop. Three feet to go here to the hole. This is their look at birdie. Beautiful shot. Currently in first position. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. And choosing the eight iron here. Well, this one's going right at the flag. Beautiful. And in definite range for birdie. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Let's head to this lengthy par four. 16 is a wonderful par four, very difficult driving hole. You must keep it out of those three bunkers that dot both the right and left-hand side of the fairway. From there, you're gonna have a second shot that's fairly flat into, funny enough, a fairly flat green as well. Still, players are looking to make a solid four here, nothing worse. Lovely effort, that. This shot is about 140 yards out. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one looks to be heading towards the green. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. This putt's about four feet from the hole. I don't mind the look of this. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Now at the 17th hole. Most players will be able to get it over the fairway bunker down the left-hand side, some 275 yards off the tee. And from there, it's a pretty straightforward second shot with a long iron, maybe a fairway wood. Those who like to lay up have to be mindful of the fairway bunker down the left-hand side. You can't get careless and knock it in there. Anywhere up and around the green, though, with your second shot, you should have a good opportunity to get it up and down for the birdie. That's some good golf right there. Getting ready to play their third. That's a high quality recovery shot. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Had a boy, good shot. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. A wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. That signs off on this player's